Uh, my name is Elena Trefilova. I'm from uh, Russia. I'm a linguist uh, and, uh, well, actually I don't represent any academic institution. I am on myself here, um, but I work uh, in a linguistic area in some IT company. Well, actually they match a lot. Uh, they have um, a lot of uh, common um, uh, starting from a machine translation um, to uh, and uh, starting with machine translation and there are a lot of other areas such as um, internet browsing uh, and um, uh, information extraction uh, extraction um, well a lot of things I think electronic dictionaries and also uh, it is connected with uh, uh, languages teaching, uh, well, a lot of area. Uh, you can find uh, linguistics and computer science together. Uh, well, I think uh, I even haven't mentioned uh, half of it. I graduated from Moscow University uh, and I finished the uh, theoretical and applied, applied linguistic department. So uh, we studied both linguistics and uh, computer science and mathematics. So it's not new for me. Uh, I'm quite familiar with this area. And I also have experience working in uh, IT industry uh, for more than 20 years. Well, it, is, it is quite a personal thing because, well, I, as I told you, uh, I'm a linguist. And uh, we say that for a linguist, every language is precious. So uh, I studied, during my life, I studied uh, a lot of languages. Uh, well, uh, my first foreign languages at the university was Hungarian. And uh, yes, I also continued with Finnish. And then uh, I studied in China, for example. I studied Chinese for three years. So uh, Sanskrit is a um, mm, new experience for me, a new uh, language type, and also it is um, a language from the area which uh, was uh, unfamiliar, unfamiliar for me, so I didn't know uh, I didn't know anything about India. So it is personal. It's mainly personal interest. Uh, Sanskrit has a huge heritage. Uh, you can uh, there are a lot uh, of uh, ancient texts that you can read in Sanskrit. So uh, you have uh, plenty. For example, many languages. Uh, they don't have such rich literature, such a uh, big history and great history. So uh, uh, it encourages you to dive uh, into this area and uh, you can uh, feel yourself like invigorated with all this amount that you can learn, you can study it. So it's uh, like, like a door to a new world. Well, as we can see on this conference, uh, the people are interested in uh, develop uh, Sanskrit uh, with uh, these computer tools, with uh, the help of computers, with modern technology. So I think it, it is quite interesting uh, to uh, join this Asian language and our new modern technology together and to, to see what will be with it. So I think there are a lot of perspective to um, well, we can see uh, in the future, uh, well, I think, so. and it is also modern technology can uh, revive this Asian language so people uh, will uh, be interested in it and they will know about this language. Uh, people who study yoga, or people who study philosophy, people who study uh, religion, uh, a lot of them, but unfortunately uh, for some reason, it is very difficult to start to learn Sanskrit and it's very difficult to continue because the language, yes, indeed, it's, it's not an easy language, uh, let's say, like this. And uh, so I think with also with modern technology, with Internet uh, and this kind of tool, we can uh, give these people opportunity and good tools to, to uh, learn this language, to know more about it.